Interesting question. Is there a natural harmony between the historian part of me and the writer part of me? Um, I've never thought of it in those terms, but, I, but probably the reason that I don't think of it in those terms is I'm not conscious of shifting gears. Okay. Um, when, when I was a kid, um, you know, I, I was really fascinated with the Civil War, and um, a, a couple of my influences as prose stylists were Bruce Catton and uh, Douglas S. Freeman, uh, two great historians of the Civil War, one writing from the Union perspective, the other from the Confederate perspective. And I think that in those early readings, I kind of internalized their cadences and their rhythms. And, um, and, and so when I turn to write biography, um, there's not much of a separation between the, the thinking and the research and, and the writing. In fact, when I'm researching, I'm already trying to think of how I can take the, the raw evidentiary material and weave it into a paragraph that has the proper cadence and, and rhythm and, and so forth. I like to think that my work reads pretty well out loud, and it's because I really try to hear it in my head as and, and, and before I'm doing it. So, um, so fascinating question. I appreciate it.